Default settings are the entries that your shop uses most often in creating orders in SE. Defaults are used to save time by entering common choices into your orders for you automatically. Any default setting can be overwritten at the time of order preparation. Here are some options you'll want to set up now to automatically fill in for you every day. Enter the telephone area code for your shop location. Promise time is typically 5 p.m. or later. Enter that time here. You can always make adjustments with the appointment button on the work in progress screen as needed. We do recommend that please select be used as the default labor technician and the parts technician if you use that function. It serves as a reminder to assign actual technicians and also provides tech commission data for labor within the F12 check profit function. If left blank, these benefits cannot occur as expected. Please select is already in the drop down list as we included it in the database for you. Be sure that the wage information for Please Select reflects the technician commission rate in your shop. Default service writer should also be filled in so that users don't have to select a name for written by every time they start a new order. The names in the drop down list are entered in Technician Setup and then defined as Service Writers instead of Technicians. If you haven't yet entered your service writer names in the Technician Setup window, make a note to return and enter one in this field. It is also possible to associate a service writer name to a specific user list profile and we'll show that to you in another video clip. Default pay type should be the payment you accept most often. The payment names in the drop list are entered in Setup Standard Tables Income Payment Types. This will save you having to select that payment type every time. Phone Mask ensures that everyone entering phone numbers into the database only enters them in the correct format. Do not insert your area code here. Allow the software to insert it automatically, as this preserves the option of changing it for a cell phone or similar if needed during entry of customer information. This also simplifies entry of phone numbers by including all of the dashes in the right places. Check this box to enable a balance due warning display. This configures SE to display a warning with past due amount every time a new order is created for a customer who has a prior balance that is now considered 30 days past due. Update Labor on Revisions allows users to use the labor total originally quoted or to use the new labor total if shop rates have changed since that time. This is similar to the existing provision for inventory parts and revisions when part prices change. Convert Invoice to RO on Change. This setting causes any invoice to be converted back into an active RO if anything last minute is added or changed. This supports committed status requirements for ordering parts as the invoice stage is already advanced to the confirmed status on all parts on the order. Include Spouse on Invoice. Sets program to include any name listed in spouse field on the invoices generated. Include tax and estimates. If checked, tax will be added to all estimates and revisions. In addition, shop supplies and hazardous materials charges will also be added if their default settings are turned on. Conversely, hazmat and shop supplies will not be included in the on screen totals for estimates if this setting is not enabled. Include recommendations on RO and invoice. The details and date text will be seen by customers, however more space is required on your document to display them. Update labor time from total allows charged hours time on the invoice to update to agree with labor total field if labor price is changed. Enabling this option tells the program to change the labor time if a user types in a new dollar amount for a labor item in the order item entry labor dialog box. Don't prompt for tech worksheet. This option allows you to choose not to print or to be prompted to print a technician worksheet whenever you print a repair order. If you select this option, you will not be prompted and will use the worksheet button at the bottom of the order screen to print tech worksheets. Don't show existing when starting new order. This option allows you to turn off the display of the repair order selection window when a previous order for the same customer vehicle already exists. Check for substitute parts when transferring from catalogs. 
This option displays a window listing inventory part records that potentially match a catalog part number but have a different line code. This ensures that users can sell their existing stock parts more often and also update inventory on receiving them.